So there is a brand new Xbox home screen. I'm going to take you guys through what's new and what it looks like and all that good stuff. If you do enjoy this one, by the way, be sure to leave a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. If you don't like it, uh, then let me know why so I can, I can improve the content in the future. And also, just a quick plug, we've been streaming a lot over on kick.com slash jskelton. If you been on kick yourself uh definitely come check out the streams over there it's been a lot of fun we're doing a variety of stuff playing music live uh you know playing different kind different kinds of games stuff like that uh, a lot of my streams will be multi-streamed on youtube as well but some of them end up just being exclusive on kick you know last minute streams random streams things like that music streams but anyways let's go ahead and jump it straight into this uh let me know what you think about this brand new dashboard it should apply automatically it's it's rolling out so if it's not you know currently applied for you uh give it time it should come uh you know either later today or later this week or it, again they're rolling it out uh, as of right now so this is what's brand new let's go over to the home screen and uh, first things first, you can actually see that when we hover over a game, we see a background uh, corresponding to that game, just kind of like on other platforms and uh, whatnot as well. Uh, they got that uh, whole thing and, and they've rearranged everything so that you can actually see a bunch of stuff. You can see your background a lot better, right? So they, you got kind of like all of your um, your games and your tabs at the, at the bottom half. And then at the very, very top is where they moved everything else. So you can find your My Games and Apps, your store, your Game Pass, your search and your settings just at the very top there. Uh, so so again, it's all been conveniently moved uh, kind of over, over to the top. I think it was on the left side, if I remember correctly, uh, previously. Uh, one quick note about the backgrounds changing when you hover over a game tile, by the way. And let me just show you guys some of the ones I have here on um, my home screen. So I have Skate 3, Modern Warfare 2, a bunch of old school Call of Duties, because of course I've been playing some of those recently with the servers being fixed. Uh, I also got Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't know what happens when you hover over Movies TV. I guess nothing. Uh, GoldenEye 007, will it show one for that? Apparently not. Uh, apparently not. So anyways, although, so a quick note about that is if we actually go over to our settings here uh, and we're going to go personalization uh, and then we're going to go down to our background. Now, what you want is just kind of the solid color background. Doesn't matter what color, any of these solid colors you could choose from. I just chose red. Uh, so if you have one of those, if you have a dynamic background, it doesn't work. So let's say I go ahead and put on, I don't know, this grounded one's pretty cool, right? Um, actually, no, hold on. Is it, is it not, is it not set? Is it not setting? Oh, let's just put let's just put destiny. Okay. Is it on? I don't know. It's not changing. Okay, for some reason it's not changing. I don't know what's going on here. But anyways, uh, apparently if you have a dynamic background set, uh, it won't work. I was trying this earlier. I was going to show you guys. It's not important for me to show you because you can still see it. Anyways, um, anyways, so let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the rest of it. So again, there's there, there's a bunch of tabs. You know, you got your, uh, your browser games. You got some random games that are just going to show up here, like ads and stuff. You know, pre-order Lies of P, which by the way is a great game from what I've played from the demo. We have a video on the channel. It's pretty crazy. Uh, there was something that you know recently added you have your pins which i don't know why i have these pins still i just skype i mean i don't even go on there on there no more but anyways these are just my old school pins and you got your friends and communities coming to game pass most popular and you got you're, you're gonna have different sections here games we picked for you uh you know games such as you know these games that you've played optimized uh games uh, again, you can see some of the, the, the list and at any point again, you can push Y to search You'll be good to go. Uh, you go back to the top easily like that with the click of, click of a button So they said they created more space for your personalized backgrounds by simplifying the layout and putting the games you recently played uh, And other content apps towards the bottom of the screen. So um, again, this is kind of more towards the bottom half like we just kind of mentioned uh, Like I said, there's an uh, option to change the background to match the game you're highlighting which I've just uh, spoken about They said number four is that they improved game discovery uh, by introducing list of games curated and personalized for you So again, that's some of the stuff that we just kind of went through. So for example, uh, we have the mo our most popular uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, and then we have games picked for you Halo Infinite Campaign Never finished it, but I guess that's probably why it's suggesting it. Minecraft, I already own it, so I don't know why they're kind of letting me know about it. I guess because I don't, do I not have it downloaded on here? I don't know. Anyways, you know, Dirt 5, I guess because I played some Forza, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 plus 2. That, that they got right. I, I guess because I played Skate 3, I don't know. Um, played a bunch of that, that's a great game. Uh, you know, there's stuff like that, and you see more over here. Uh, games similar to a game I've played, so like Modern Warfare 2, MW3, you know, Cold uh, World at War, Black Ops, you know, whatever. Which again, I own most of these, and actually at least half of these are downloaded on my console already. So, you know, that's interesting that they're <laughs> recommending games that are already downloaded on top of that. Uh, but again, you got stuff like that, right? 
Um, so again, you can you know customize your experience by pinning your favorite games, curated groups and system groups like Quick Resume to Home. So those are all things that you can uh, you can you can go ahead and pin, uh, and it'll show under kind of like my uh, my favorites or I guess pins. For me, it's called pins. For you, it's whatever you call it, right? So if I go here, I can manage the group. Um, I can go ahead. I can rename the group. Uh, so that's kind of how that works, right? And then I can just kind of, you know, for example, oh look, Skype. Uh, yeah, let's remove that. I don't, I don't, I don't do Skype. I don't know why I have Microsoft Edge, Edge here, but anyways, just an example, right? So that's still, still like that. They said number six helps you find what's going on in your community through the uh, friends and community tab. So again, that's going to be right here, friends and community. So you can click that for updates. You got some to share. You can do that. Clubs on Xbox. Um, check out upcoming festival in Forza uh, Horizon Five. So different stuff like that they've added. And then number seven, they said, it shows you what media apps and content are available to you uh, via a watch and listen spotlight. So the watch and listen spotlight would have been, uh, well, first of all, we have the top entertainment apps here. Um, watch and listen would be right here. So again, we scroll down here. We're like, okay, what, what, what should we watch or listen to? Well, you know, we got apps like Netflix, you know, Prime Video, different things like that. Uh, you know, we got the, the, the home premiere of, of The Flash. I don't know. It's questionable, but anyways, uh, you know, we got different things like that. So we check that out, you know, 99 cent rentals for Game Pass members, for example. Oh, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, some pretty, you know, old school um, movies from, from what I can see in that list and, and different things like that. So again, that's kind of uh, what we got going on there. So uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty cool. I like it. I, I personally, I like it. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot cleaner. Um, again, you can push X to add any of these games to play, play later. Uh, when you're hovering over them or you know more options uh, but yeah i don't know all in all i like it i think like i said when, you, when you're at the top here i like that the background changes depending on what game you're hovering over uh i don't like that it only does that if you don't have a dynamic background i would like that you could do that with a dynamic background but it doesn't seem like i can if i'm missing something you guys can let me know um so i like that personally i like that they've cleaned it up it's a little bit you know you know at the bottom there and then you know the other kind of tabs here are, are just kind of small clean tucked away at the top middle here it's uh it's really nice really clean so i don't know i like it you guys let me know like i said what you think in the comments below about this uh new home screen on xbox do you do you like it do you dislike it what would you do to improve it um yeah let me know your thoughts but again just to uh you know reiterate uh they said in the xbox blog post that they're rolling out the new home experience to uh, uh, a subset of xbox consoles which means that some customers will need to wait a few weeks to get their hands on it so if you don't have it yet it could take up to multiple weeks before you actually have it changed for you but they said over the next few weeks rest assured that it's coming to a console near you uh, so if you're seeing the new home on your console and you want to customize to your like it liking they have a whole guide on that but i kind of pretty much taking you through most of it so uh i mean you can still check that out if you want to i'll link down the uh, xbox blog blog post down in the comments below so thanks for watching let me know your thoughts if you enjoyed this one leave a like subscribe for more and if you didn't let me know why so i can improve the content in the future and i'll see you guys soon in another one tell them my friends game on and thanks for watching hey you what are you doing join the skeleton army do it today don't wait till tomorrow because tomorrow might never come the earth is gonna fade that's inevitable the next second of your life's not even promised so you better think about where you're going and you might as well just join the skeleton army plus we do kind of like you a little bit so it'd be nice to see you around here but if you don't want to hey you're lost see you later